lot uh, for uh, your time today. Uh, let's start wrapping up the market action for the day. Well, uh, the last hour really brought it for the bulls. Uh, you know, till 2.30, the market was absolutely flat. The Nifty was uh, down three points. The Sensex was up three points. And we're ending the day with decent gains. So on the Nifty, of course, the gains still look muted. And that's mainly because the, the outsized gains came in the Bank Nifty, which is up 1%, 400 points higher, 39,100. I think the averaging might pull it down a bit to 39,070 thereabout, but still that would be a good close. Uh, in terms of index stocks, uh, let's start with the banks first because that's where the big contribution was. So names like Kotec Mahindra Bank, ICICI Bank, uh, HDFC Bank, Access, even uh, HDFC itself also did quite well. Uh, then you had Apollo Hospitals, by the way, which was a top nifty gainer, 3.5% higher on that. ONGC was up 2%, Grasim was up about close to 1%, Larsen and Tubro did well. Uh, one more bank, by the way, Indescent Bank also did well, up about 3%. Uh, X of that, actually, uh, the stocks were up just about half a percent or thereabout. That explains the more muted way, uh, move in the Nifty. Uh, on the losing side, you had Tata Steel, which was down. BPCL was a bit soft. DVs was down. And uh, the pressure on the Nifty came from two stocks, ITC and TCS as well. Uh, but Vishan, the broader market actually did well through the day today. Yeah, uh, I mean, almost two is to one uh, advances to decline ratio. Uh, so, you know, RBL, of course, stands out with a big 16% move by close. Uh, Varun Beverages uh, ends 6% higher. ABB, of course, we just discussed. Tejas Networks is another one, 6.5. Canfin Homes, 7% higher. Asahi India was up 7. RCF, 8% gains. Ujjivan uh, went up uh, 6%. Uh, Hikal was up 6. Greaves Cotton, 7%. Uh, TV Today uh, was up 9%. It did well from the beginning. All Cargo was up 6 A lot of paper names, uh, smaller names, West Coast, uh, etc., which all uh, looked up. Uh, and I could go down the list, but this is the bulk of the volume-led gainers from the broader market space. Niger. Well, that's right. It was a pretty good uh, session by the time uh, we wound down. A few gainers in trade today. Tega Industries, the one we explained earlier this week, so that was up and about. You had Amy Organics. Well, that stock as well spiked up. Orient Paper, you know, that's the underperformer from the paper pack. That as well did come to the party in today's trading session. On the flip side, you had a few of these stocks uh, that have lost out. Uh, Eros International, I don't know what went on there, but the stock was up more than 50% in the last uh, one month or so. Today, it was down closer, around 6% approximately. So that, in fact, you know, giving up some bit of those gains. Uh, from the Adani Group, just Adani Green was under some pressure. So that stock, in fact, ended a little bit lower. But to wind things down, though, the Nifty... Well, it traded in a bit of a range, though ended well in the green. The Nifty Bank was a star in trade, with a couple of those mid-sized banks really coming to the party. Paper stocks did pretty well. And, uh, you know, by the end of it, well, there was more green than red on the screen.